We'll, he we'll has talk played to, we'll red so yeah, much. We'll talk about players that actually come out to our events. Uh, mm, bang, bang. Yeah. All right, well, anyway, <laughs> port number four is indeed Milkman. Um, in case you are wondering, he is currently the fastest down 53%, rocking that green color. Um, Jerry, you know, started off with a good start, but Milkman bringing it right back, and just like that, he indeed takes that lead. And I love that. Jumps over him. He gets that shine. Good stuff coming in from Milkman. Yeah, basically, after yeah after that first flurry by Jerry, Milkman just totally in control. And that should be the stock, too. Just calls out that slightly higher than ledge side B. And that was pretty much a zero to death after he took the 53%. He was like, this is my stock. Gets the thunders, but nothing off the Jeffrey set. Oh, but calls out that jump. And it's uh, either he is adjusting like beyond lightning fast or uh, he just wasn't warmed up in the beginning because he's taken 70 percent. Um, and, you know, Jerry had that first start, as you said, but after that, it has been the Milkman show. Yeah, it's only a minute into this match, but Milkman just putting on a clinic at the moment. Yeah, so I think the decision to go to Dreamland, neither Fox really opts to shoot that many lasers, at least for what we've seen so far. So it's going to be just like more the slow and, you know, what we'd assume would be slow and like grinded out edge guard back and forth scenarios like right there. Um, so yeah, I mean, Milkman just looking really strong. And there's the first laser that we've really seen from Jerry, but Milkman already gets a counter punish, but nothing off the shine. And Milkman, is it's his pressure is so great. Um, very un uncharacteristic shine to go for right there. It's a smash attack for it, but doesn't lose the stock, and that's what matters at the end of the day. Oh, I thought he had that rollery, too. It looked like he was right there with Jerry. Uh, but this could be an edge guard opportunity for Jerry. He does get the back air, but not the right way. Milkman got another chance. There you go. Good stuff. Only down a stock right now. Um, Jerry definitely showing that he has a lot of life left in him, and he's not going down, with the, down without a fight. Mm. And, you know, Jerry, as you mentioned, he's now the one using a couple lasers here and there. I'd like that you see him use a couple more, but you don't need to when you're doing conversions Whoa. like that. Yeah, that was so close to picking him up with that up tilt, too. That would have, you know, picked him up nice and perfectly above the ledge with an opportunity for a shine or even a back air. But gets a magnet. And again, now Milkman on the offensive. Oh, wait a second. Is this it? Ooh. Doesn't get the tack. Clean up. All right, Jerry tying it up. So opportunistic. Oh, he's kind of just an opportunistic player at times. He's like, oh, you gave me that? Okay, yep. we'll take this. I'm ready for it. Yep. Oh, and that short hop drill just catching Milkman going in a little bit too close. And that's on the roll with him. Not going to be enough, though. Beautiful call out. Definitely making a statement. Jerry, though, does make it back on stage. Good reset right there with the jab. Misses the grab, but it's okay because he's still continuing this conversion at the moment. A nice little oh. laser into that up tilt. Not going to get that there. Oh, he got him. He still has a jump. What a, what a combo by <laughs> Jerry. That was crazy. Scary Jerry. Wow. <laughs> um, anyway, he has a lead. Yeah, that was... Uh all right, so it's been a game of waves so far. I mean, Milkman looked really strong for his first two stocks. But now Jerry got himself another combo that's three up airs into a back air, and all of a sudden Milkman at 80%. Yeah, Jerry woke up. You know, he's woke. He's woke now. But obviously we cannot count Milkman out. And, of course, it is a Fox Ditto. Yep. Fox's stocks can disappear the moment you blink. Yep. All right, he goes for the back air. Just wants to get him off stage rather than give him the chance to SDI up out of an up air. But he does not get the edge guard. And he'll do it again. And that is enough. All right, so Jerry, can he close it out? Can Milkman bring this back? Oh, oh we've seen gosh. a lot of jab resets. Oh, I was going to say he caught him with no jump, but... Yeah, wasn't able to do too much with 69%. You know, when you were down that far, definitely yeah. great. Oh, he just, I was going to say, he went right in. Just no fear on that man. Jerry's like, all right, I'm coming. Well, like, he was right. He didn't get punished for it. Ooh, Ooh edge guard opportunity. Sneaky. Oh, and he gets the shine. Milkman brings it back. Wow. That was, a, that was back and forth. Tug of war. You know, Jerry definitely firing off on all cylinders, but unfortunately it was only for five seconds. Yeah, that was, uh, wow. Then it was I, the Milkman show, but Jerry, you know, just taking it right back, and that was really a slugfest out there. Yeah, but Milkman, Milkman, that, I mean, what what's the score say? It says one nothing Milkman. They're going to go to Battlefield. As close as that was, I mean, Milkman's got to be feeling good that he was down a pretty substantial amount and was able to clutch it out. The double oh. shines. Is he going to finish this plate? Oh, Not no. able to. He was saving stuff for later. He was like, eh, yeah, you I know. might still get hungry. <laughs> it's kind of like Thanksgiving. 
Yeah. But um, with a player like Jerry, play. you might you, you might not want to save any, you know? Yeah, you probably yeah. just want to lock it up because, again, the longer you let him live, here you go. He's just trying to bring it back to even. Um, and he's pretty much done it. I do um, question why Jerry doesn't throw out more lasers. Um, every time he's thrown out lasers, he, he's tacked on a lot, just free percentage, you know? Um, of course, it, and it's not like he's the one con constantly chasing down greats. Like, Ooh. resilience right there by Jerry in the end didn't pay off. Yeah, that was a good, nice edge guard right there by Milkman. Just shined him to get him off, knew that he had to use it up B, and then shine him at the ledge. Good illusion. Does manage to make it back. Throws out the spot dodged. Oh, he tried to hard read Jerry doing the super sick angle of the ledge, but smart stuff by him going high, the double shine, and he... Ooh! The drill! He's like, I'll take that one to the bank. He'll take that trade every day of the week and twice on Wednesdays. I think he wanted to live still afterwards. He wasn't even satisfied with that. <laughs> that was crazy. But Yeah, nope. and the, the, the double shines, the drill, just good stuff by Milkman. And so creative on that edge guard. Yep. Oh, what a huge tech right there by Jerry. He was so close to getting shined off stage again. And so that's been the story of this game, too, is that it feels like Jerry's been off stage the whole game. Um, I mean, that clearly is his home, you know? Oh, and that is just flexing on him. Eating the up B, crouch canceling and getting the shine, and Milkman just running away with this game, too. Yeah, right now, Milkman looking unstoppable. Jerry clearly can turn it up. We witnessed him do it last game, but he's definitely going to have to switch up his gameplay. Right now, he's kind of letting Milkman just dictate the pace, and, and that's not working out for him. Whether he needs to completely run or completely go forward, he needs to kind of make a decision because the in-between is not paying off. All right. Oh, dangerous situation for Jerry, and this could be if he gets... Oh, I was going to say if he gets one back air shine and just does it again, but nice fade to ledge by Jerry. He's got another lease on life. Oh, and he gets Good the read on the roll in. He gets him off stage. Edge guard attempt going to come into play. Gets that back air, and that is going to do it. Milkman is down to two stocks. Jerry, you know, getting the edge guards, and at the same time, a lot of this, uh, the deficit has been from the edge guards. It's just unfortunately on Milkman's side. Yeah. You know, so if Jerry can manage to actually stay on stage like he's doing right now, he can mount the comeback. Yeah, he can get it slowly and surely, but he's got to play it pretty perfectly at this point. If if Milkman gets a grab or he gets an up smash, ooh, edge guard opportunity for Jerry. He gets the back air. Oh, but what an angle again by Milkman. And this might do it. One more back air. Or just sit there and shine. Damn. All right. So 2-0 lead for Milkman. Again, we, we saw maybe something similar in loser's quarters between Plank and Mom, where Mom was able to clutch out game one and then washed in game two. That's mm -hmm. what we saw here, too. Yeah. Milkman able to clutch it out game one and just and spanked ironically game enough, two. it is in a similar fashion. It has to do with the edge yeah. guards. Yeah, it really did. All right. So now Milkman... Sitting pretty, one game away from Grand Finals winner side. But as you mentioned, it's a Fox Ditto. Yeah. Anything can happen. Are they going to go back to Battlefield? Um, does he feel like that had anything to do with the match? Clearly, Jerry does not straight back to Battlefield. Um, I also do question, maybe a stage pick might have been something that would help out Jerry. We'll find out based on this match. Good up tilt comes into play right there by Jerry. And it seems like Jerry right now, though, is playing a bit more of the I'm going to whiff punish you game, and so far it's paying off. Obviously not by much, only up by 5%, but it's definitely a lot better than the way last match started. You got good reaction right there. And again, I like, I mean, there's nothing that wrong. If you if you cover ledge and you call correctly, you get a stock at low percent. Um, worst case scenario, he just gets the back. Oh, and look at Milkman just setting up the wall again with the up tilts. Goes for a down tilt, gets punished for it. I love it by Jerry right there. Not committing either time. Takes full advantage of it. Is he going to get the stock for it? Almost. And he oh. does not. Misses that up air afterwards. Oh, but he calls out the short and getting up just at the right time. So Jerry got himself a lead. It feels like the, f the first one in a while since the middle of game one. Oh, and he's got Milkman deep off stage. Oh, but again, what a fast fall to get around that dash attack, which would have put Jerry in an excellent position to finish up the edge guard. He just gets around it. That was sneaky. That illusion comes on. Good stuff right now from Jerry. Not able to get the edge guard, but he has his options covered right now. Rinse and repeat, reset in that situation. Milkman going to try to go high. Jerry calling it out, and he looks like he's going to finish it, and yeah. he does. Up right now, two, whole, two stocks. All right, so maybe this is the momentum boost that Jerry needs, right? You'd be like, all right, I got a, a nice lead.
try and get some extra credit percent here, but Milkman not making it easy. Is he gonna get the up throw back air? Yes, but is it gonna lead to a kill? Yes, <laughs> it does. Definitely um, tying it down, or bringing him down just a little bit. Um, one of the major differences right now, though, is that Jerry is actually on stage. Yeah. Um, that's, you know. Oh, wow. And I was going to say, Milkman has not been. But um, that's been the biggest difference. It's not so much that he's necessarily playing significantly better, so much better, but he's actually getting a chance to play. Yeah, now that Milkman's had a chance to play, he's pretty much brought it back to even. One up throw up air, one up smash. One edge guard away from tying the game up completely. Going to look for that opening, but Jerry's trying not to give it to him at all. Oh, I thought we were going to see the whip punish right there. Milkman just kind of throwing out a, a... Oh, wow! yikes. <laughs> um, uh, actually, Jerry's the one throwing things out. Yeah, throwing away the throwing the stocks out. He's like, ah, I'm good. I'm, I've had enough of this one. Now, on to the next one. Oh, that <laughs> no punish on the, da the down smash is just in the middle of nowhere. Good recovery right there from Milkman. Not even giving Jerry a chance. Oh, this is... Oh, oh he tried he missed for it. it. Yep. That would have been sick if he would have connected with that. And talk about just taking the win from underneath the wing of Jerry if he would have gotten it. Down yeah. right now with stock. But, you know, Milkman has the edge guards um, of a lifetime, essentially. Or right now, he can just keep getting these combos. Right now, hitting Jerry every single way that Ooh. he's going. Good stuff coming into play. Is he going to be able to finish it off? Not quite yet, but Jerry has to fight his way back on stage, and he does manage to take stage control. Oh, and now he's got a combo of his own. The double up smash, not going to lead into anything after that. And, oh, he calls out the spot dodge with a big ol' F smash. And that is it. Last stock again. And can Jerry close this out and force a game four? Or can Milkman just get himself a nice 3-0? This is that edge cancel on the illusion. Doesn't get punished too hard for it, though. 4 to 75% right now. You know, Milkman definitely on borrowed time at 99%. Going to try to recover again. Jerry going to make it difficult for him. He has a double jump. Goes high this time, and he go. He actually lands unpunished. Good stuff coming in from Milkman. Yeah, he was, was like right in front of him, too. Oh, the get-up attack. Going to get punished. The falling up there is going to do it, and Jerry does get on the board. And there is some life in the crowd. You could hear them say, come on, Jerry. Definitely proud of uh, their boy. <coughs> All right, so now again, we've already seen Battlefield, uh, what was that, three times? Yes. No, twice. They played Dreamland game one. You're right, you're Battlefield right. Battlefield the last two. So now Yoshi's not really surprised here. One of Milkman's favorite stages. Um, and it definitely plays into his play style. He likes getting his opponent off stage so that he can capitalize with the hard edge guards. Yoshi is not a large stage. You get him off stage pretty quickly only yeah. over here. But it does, you know, work both ways. Jerry can edge guard. He demonstrated it last game. So we're gonna it's kind of a double-edged sword for Mil for Milkman in that regard. He puts that in there right in front of Jerry. Oh, and he calls out the shorten and no tech right there from Jerry. Again, as you mentioned, edge guarding huge play right there for Milkman. Yeah, that's been the biggest difference um, in play for him. But Jerry has the combos. That's been really where he's been shining. Wall jump into the illusion. Good stuff wow. coming from Milkman. But in the end, did it matter? We're still Randall, Randall in the wondering. building. Randall, Randall, Randall. Oh, he missed him. He's so close. Oh, he knew he was there. Timer knowledge, but it's dead even again. Both of them not wanting to really make any heavy commitments, knowing how hard they will be punished for it. Four percent even. It was four percent for like 15 seconds. Yeah, but that's as you mentioned. There's the punish. He just got one. Uh, spot dodge read into a huge percentage, and now it's Milkman's turn. He's going to try and do the same. Right now he is ooh, going out there deep for that edge guard. Lost stage control forward. Jerry not able to capitalize off of the position, though. Oh, and that full hop there. Great job by Milkman. Just catching Jerry's again, trying to come in with a jump approach. Get back here. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Talk about a punish by Jerry. Definitely turning up the heat right now. Clearly wanted to make it to a game five. Here we get to spot that shine and gets the roll in. Oh, wow. The teardrop coming out of nowhere. Still no jump. And he skims off the landing. <laughs> Milkman knows every single position that Jerry is attempting to go to. Not able to end the stock for it, but... Yeah, wow. What a, that, that was, was an amazing damage. slide off by Jerry. He, you knew that Milkman he was setting up a tech trap where he's going to back throw him onto the platform. He wasn't going to expect it, and he's going to have to tech, but instead he just gets the slide off. But Milkman holding on the ledge, not letting Jerry get back. And again, two socks each. 
Only 68% on Milkman. Definitely not a bad spot to be in. Could be worse. Could be better. But you know, in a Fox Ditto, you rack up damage so quickly as he was just demonstrating 37. Not able to um, get anything afterwards. Very fortunate for Jerry. Back air. Smart stuff by Jerry right there, recognizing the situation he was in. But it's rinse and repeat it, and this is yep. where Milkman shines. He does not mess this oh, up. Oh, that was uh, so actually super greedy. Milkman, yeah, he's smiling because he was dead. He could have just back aired or F smash instead going for the up smash. And or down or blanked. Anything but that one option. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, but again, now Jerry on last stock, potentially in winners, but again, 0% each. Can this Jerry clutch it out again? You know, nerves might come into play here. Um, Jerry did win last week, if I'm not mistaken, so he yep. is currently our, our, our Xander champion. He's carried belt. that belt proudly. Um, Milkman, a chance to make history, you know. There has only been one other melee victor um, in this venue. Yep. Oh, he still has no jump. Oh, great air dodge by Jerry. Oh, and the read again on the roll in with the up tilt. Milkman got Jerry in the corner. Can you keep him there? They are duking it out, but you know, Milkman just getting the better end of it every time. Oh, Ooh, wow, that was sick. almost it. That would have been the nastiest call out on that up air, but did not quite connect. And now he's got an edge guard opportunity again. One more back air. Oh, he just catches him off the skip, and the up air gets the tech right, and that is it. Milkman in grand finals. That was a little rude the way 